So hello and welcome to my channel and today is the long-awaited Dyson Airwrap tutorial or video. Um, I've had my Dyson for a couple of weeks now, um, just been waiting to sort of perfect the art. Um, I think it cost, they cost between about 400 to 450 pounds, so quite an investment. Um, and they come with different attachments depending on what you're looking for to get from it style wise. So um, if you want to see how I've created these beautiful curls, just keep watching. So my hair is freshly washed, washed conditioned, and I've got in it some a little bit of hair oil and some mousse. Um, it's still damp, it's dried off a little bit, but I need to just start by, they say you need your hair to be um, about 75% dry. So I've still got a few wet bits here. So what I'm gonna do mainly is, is um, dry off the roots a bit more because the ends tend to dry as you go through the process naturally anyway. So I've connected the hair dry part attachment to the Dyson and I always have mine on the um, highest uh, heat setting and highest power setting. So what I'm going to do to start with is just dry off my hair a little bit. So I will at some point do another video on how you actually use it and put all the different attachments on and what um, actually comes with the, the air wrap, the different attachments and what you can use them for. But for today's video, I'm only going to be curling my hair, so I shall only um, use the barrels. Now I've finished with the hair dry part. So that just clicks off and what you get, um, the air wrap that I got is the long version. So you end up with longer tubes uh, or barrels. So in each um, set you get different brushes, smoothing brushes, curling brush, blah, blah, blah. And then you get two sets of barrels, I believe, um, a thick set and a thin set. And you actually get two of each because they've got different arrows on them, if you can see. And that's, that's for the different um, ways to curl your hair. So either that way or that way. So to your face or away from your face. So for today's video, I'm going to try and create quite a curly look. So I'm going to go for the small barrels. Should I say thinner barrels? They're not small. Um, yeah, so this set, these are slightly longer. So in a normal air wrap that you buy, I think they're about that big instead because I've got long hair and need the longer ones. So I'll just show you the different um, bits I'm going to use to help create a nice curly hair look. So I've got a few of these clips. Um, I've got a big jumbo sort of comb which will be used after if I need to to brush the curls out sometimes I use my fingers um, and then I'm going to try this as well uh, I saw this on another youtubers video it's um, the Cur Mark Hill curl hold spray um, I shall show you what I'll use that for in a minute and then for me the real way of keeping the curls in are these this is my little secret tiny little clips so I'll show you what I'm going to use those for as we go along. Right, so to start with, I'm just sectioning off my hair a bit. I've just got this little bit at the back, which is where I'm going to start curling. Um, I tend to do mine at the back first and then do the ones at the front at the end because um, it's the ones at the front that you can see, isn't it? So I spend to, I tend to spend a bit more time on those. So you take the device and put your first barrel in. Um, to start with, I'm going to be using that way and it just clicks in nice and securely and then you've got a bit on the end that you can hold which keeps cool on. So there's three different buttons, you've got one um, there for the heat, there's three different heat settings, two hot, one cool. Uh, you've got the different speeds or the different um, power going through the device and then you've got an on off switch here and this also doubles up as a cool shot. So that's the air wrap all ready to go. So to start with, I'm just going to spray a bit of this Mark Hill spray on it, on that section of my hair. And I usually pick, depending on how many curls you want to create, how curly you want your hair to be, will make you decide which size barrel to use, the thick or thin, and how thick or thin pieces of hair you take. So if I were to curl all that in one go with just one on one barrel, 
I'd get a very more um, sort of natural wavy, beachy wave type curl. But I want to try and go in for a little bit tighter. So I will probably split that into three, actually, I think I'm going to do. So we'll get that out of the way to start with. It's best way you can to keep the rest of the hair away from it because otherwise it's, it sucks it into a different sort of section. So this is just a Tangle Teaser wet and dry brush. So just sort of brush a bit of the product through. And um, what you do, you turn it on. I'll talk you through some bits of it as we're going along, but let's get it started. So I'm going to turn it on and get the first curl underway. And then what I do, you can sort of judge when it's going dry or if it gets too hot, you then apply the cool shot, which is uh, sends a, a cold or cool, cooler shot of air through it. Now, what I sometimes do is I might do the cool shot a couple of times just because it's getting a little bit too hot near to my neck. I've heard a lot of people saying it feels a bit too hot near their necks. They don't like it. If, you, if it is too hot for you, of course, you can just turn the heat setting down a little bit. So that now looks nice and dry. Feels nice and dry. So I'm going to turn it off. Turn it off completely, leave it to switch completely before you start to pull away. Um, otherwise you'll drag the hair down. So that's the first one. Now what I'm going to do is, this is where I think, this is why I'm getting better curls out of it than people I've seen, other YouTubers I've seen. I'm actually gonna pin that curl, so I'm gonna do it as pin curls. So take your little clip, and you just pin it in place and that will be held in place until the hair cools off which means it locks the curl in a lot better now this bit feels a bit damper so this is going to have to probably go in for a bit longer brush it out now you can see there <laughs> how red my neck is it's not burnt it's just hot there's different so ways people tell you how to use this you're supposed to sort of hold a bit of hair like that so you hold it close and now do you see there how it's just caught that hair? It just sort of sucks it in. Can you see? Not at all uncomfortable. And then what I tend to do, you can just go straight up to your head. But what I tend to do is I shake it a little bit which means the hair is then distributed evenly along the barrel. And then it, that, for me, gives you a tighter and neater curl. And then once you're at the top of your head, what you can do is just twist it in a little bit, just to make it so the curl starts closer to your actual head, rather than have a little gap that's not curled. Once it gets hot, put a bit of the cold air through it, Give it a cool shot. Now that hair was quite damp, so I don't think that's quite dry yet. So I'm gonna give it another go of the heat. And then another cool shot. So you're only holding it in place for a few, a couple of sec, well, probably 10, 15 seconds with the heat and then you put the cool shot on say for a further 10. As you go through using it you, you get to sort of get to feel when you know it's when it's cooked when it's ready and if you want a tighter curl it needs to be very very crispy dry almost whereas if you're looking for a, a looser curl if it's still a tiny little bit you don't want it damp because it will just fall out straight away but doesn't necessarily have to be quite as bone dry unless you want a really tight curl. So turn it off and then pull down. You don't pull, you just sort of, well, you can see it's not pulling it. So got a lovely another curly bit there. Now, for some reason, I've got a little bit of a, a rogue piece there. So we'll put that up there to do again. And then again, I'm going to pin the curl so it gives it a proper chance to cool off because it is still warm, I can feel that, even that one's still a little bit warm. 
And the good thing about this as well, because it's got a really, really long lead, it's a swivel lead, you can do it round the back, however you want to do it round the back. There's plenty of room. Um, if someone's doing it for you, they can walk right round you because you've got this lovely long lead. So yeah, I'm just gonna carry on doing a few more now and then I'll, I'll talk to you about swapping the barrel over so I'll show you it, how it goes the other way. So sit back and relax and enjoy. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray all the hair with hairspray because otherwise I'm gonna keep forgetting to do little bits. Okay, next bit. And can you see there, I've got a few little new hairs and as you get closer to the scalp, they get caught up as well. So they all go in. And then I just turn it in so it's close to my head. It's getting a bit hot, so I give it a cool shot. And then I just go in with a bit more heat again. And then another cool shot. And then turn it off. And drop it down. I have to say I've never used a device to curl my hair which gives such beautiful curls every single time and I actually quite enjoy doing it. I found over the years I've used curling tongs and things. Um, rollers are very uncomfortable, curling tongs just take ages and they wreck your hair. The good thing about this is because it doesn't get as hot, the damage to your hair is so much less, which, and that for me was a massive, a massive selling point of getting one. Um, rollers don't damage your hair so much, but things like hair straighteners and curling ones, they just fry your hair. So um, this is much better in that respect. The actual curls just feel so much softer. Um, I know whenever, again, I've used curling tongs before, the curls just feel crunchy because they've been burnt and all the water's been stripped out of them. I'll never forget, what, not that long ago, I, I was using something and Alan came into me and he's like, what's all that steam coming out of your hair? What have you got on it? I said, nothing, I'm just curling it. And he said, that's the water coming out of your hair. And it, it really sort of scared me a bit. Um, just through, you know, how much it was getting damaged. Right, I just swapped the barrels over now so you can see how it does the curls the other way. So you just unlock one, out it comes. It's not particularly hot. And then we'll put the other one in. Easy as that. It's not very heavy. It's not too heavy for, you know, moving about either. You're not getting any arm ache. So I swapped the barrel over, so this is to make the curl go away from your face, which is supposed to be a little bit more flattering. So it's exactly the same, but you just put the position the hair. Uh, this time it'll catch going away from me. You see that? Do it again. So this time, instead of being, it, it just catches the opposite direction. See how it just does it. It's, it's fantastic. Look, just, ooh, there it goes. So you can see at the top how that's turned away, just done in the opposite direction. So depending, that just shows you because I took a bit more hair in on that one, so that's going to be a bigger curl at the front. I tend to do the tighter ones at the back because um, you have more hair there, don't you? You, have, you seem to have, I don't know, you just seem to have more hair at the back. So that's mostly the first half done. I'll just give you, give you a quick squiz round so you can see where I've pinned the curls. Now, I haven't done an awful lot down the back yet. Um, I need to get some smaller curls in there because as you can see I've missed quite a bit um, so I'll do that as I pick it up on this side so I'm just going to go and do exactly the same thing on this side so I just want to show you what happens if you don't pin some of your hair out of the way so let's say for example I want to curl that bit 
Um, and it doesn't matter if you recurl it, but just watch while I leave it. Um, just watch while I leave this bit of hair down what happens. So if I go closer, see this bit of hair here? See how it grabbed it? So that's why you're best to um, section it, because otherwise you end up picking bits of hair that you don't necessarily want in that specific curl. So let me do the rest of this and I'll show you what it looks like. So I'm just near the end now, just got that little bit um, left to do. This is quite dry now, so what I'm going to do is just dampen it down a bit with a little bit of water. Um, I think, they do say that you're supposed to have it on, I think I said 75% damp hair. Uh, you're supposed to use the Dyson on 75% damp hair, but I've, I've tried it on dry and it was fine with mine. But I think the idea is it's the heat with the almost like built-in hair dryer. Um, that's what locks the curling. So again, it's just having a little play about with it and finding out what works for you. I also find as well if I um, my hair's a little bit dirty, so not being washed for a couple of days, the, the curls hold a lot better. I've always found that with my hair, if I use um, rollers or curling irons or anything like that, bit of dirt on the hair always helps but that's why I've put so much spray on it today because it's so soft because it's just been washed so I'll just finish this last few and then I'll show you the rest of my hair so I just swapped the barrels over to do um, the last few away from my face probably should have done that a little bit earlier but uh, got a bit sidetracked right so let's do a final few here cold shot so it's getting a little, warm, a little bit warm i think what some people are a bit scared of doing is taking it taking it out too quickly because it gets too hot but i just think if it gets hot pop the cold shot on again and then go hot again it's a bit like you know when you use a hot hair dryer <laughs> you leave it on a certain bit of hair for too long get that sort of sharp ooh, pain. but can you see how the actual hair there, the colour, uh, sorry, the actual hair has changed colour slightly because it's now dry. So that's what I was saying earlier on. You can sort of gauge by looking at it or how it feels um, when it's ready to come off the device. Now, because at the front of my hair, I want that bit to be a bit straighter. That's absolutely perfect for me, how that one's fallen. I really do think these clips and uh, doing it like pin curls really, really helps um, secure those curls in place. What you can do as well is actually, you can sort of start it by that, like that, to help it along the way if it doesn't catch it straight away. Just to get it, get it onto the barrel in the first place. Now that one actually is still a little bit damp there so I'm going to put that back in again because it's not taken very well. So I think I'll put a bit of spray on it and do it again. There we go, that's better. Right, so that's them all in place now. Um, I'll give you a quick whiz round. They don't need to be neat, obviously. It's just only for the purposes of letting the, the curls cool down. So what I'll do now, I'm going to spray a bit more spray on it and I'm going to leave it for a little while because obviously these need to cool down a bit and then I'll come back and uh, take, the, take the pins out. Right, so I've left them for about half an hour, just been off and done some chores. So I'm going to take them all out now and uh, let's see how they look. So I've counted those, I've 28 I did, so I've done 28 curls in my hair and just, it's just absolutely, it's beautiful. I mean, look how much shorter it looks though. Um, I just, I can't believe how well it curls my hair and they're all beautiful curls. So as you can see the back, needs a little bit of uh, playing around with. Some of those haven't taken so well, for example, that one. Um, 
But to be honest, once I brush it out, I think the back's going to be okay as well. There's a couple of bits of hair, but nothing too major. Um, if I just want it quite sort of loose and casual. So I'm just going to actually just style it a little bit because um, it's looking a bit flat there. And I also need to do my fringe. So for me, I quite like these curls like this. So I shall possibly just go through with my fingers and just separate them a little bit. Nothing too much because I want to keep the curls. But what you can use is one of these wide combed brush. I'll just do a couple there. Using a normal brush will make them go very bushy um, and frizzy. So either an afro comb, I suppose that's a, an equivalent to an afro comb, but just in a brush shape. So let me just sort my fringe out. I think what I'm going to do um, is use the barrel to do my fringe. So the set comes with one of these round barrels. So it's just like the old fashioned way of um, years ago, didn't we used to have hot brush, something like that. So what I'm gonna do, because I don't want my hair to be, my fringe necessarily to be really straight, I'll just do it quite casually and just pick a few bits up with this. So my hair is dry, but I'm gonna use this on it anyway. And I think what I'll do, I'll pop the, the, um, the heat down a bit because I don't wanna be frazzling my uh, poor little fringe. What I'll do is actually get it on my hair and get the fringe in the right place and then add the heat. Ah, that's better. Blimey. <laughs> I don't want a centre parting, so what I'll do is I'll just use this little afro comb thing and pick a bit of hair up from one side and flick it over to give me sort of a side parting. So that's it all done now. I've just sort of run my fingers through it a little bit just to get rid of um, some of the really tight curls, just to make it a little bit looser. And it does drop quite a bit, as you can see, but it's still got some beautiful curls going through. Really, really pleased with it. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you wanted me to do another one where I show you all the different attachments and how I would use those or how, how you use them, just let me know in the comments down below. Um, and if you've enjoyed this video and you're not already subscribed to the channel maybe you might consider hitting that button and um, in the meantime thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye for now